Well, the U.S. is now in the fifth week of the longest government shutdown on record, but farmers tonight can let out a little sigh of relief. The USDA announcing today they will reopen all farm service agency offices during the shutdown. Yeah, this after initially announcing a partial reopen for only three days this month, though. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza joining us live tonight at the Texas Farm Bureau with what this means for the people that are handling your food. Leslie Robert, the opening of those offices is good news for farmers, but the clock is ticking and if the government shutdown continues, they could be faced with some tough decisions to make. The whole country's waiting and uh, farmers and ranchers are no different. Uh, we're going to be waiting to, to see when this thing is resolved and everyone comes back to work. Right now, the U.S. Department of Agriculture has called in all of the more than 9,700 employees to reopen all FSA offices beginning Thursday. But if those offices shut down again, it could cause problems for ranchers and farmers. People have to start making decisions. They've got to visit with bankers. They're going to have to decide what to plant, how much, uh, which crops, and, and, and all of that. Gene Hall with the Texas Farm Bureau says if the partial government shutdown continues, farmers will be in trouble. Planting season is going to come and go without farmers being able to sign up for the Farm Bill programs. That's crop insurance. Farming without crop insurance in Texas is just too big a risk. It is, it's just not really possible to farm and be profitable in Texas without the crop insurance program. That's when farmers will be faced with certain decisions that could mean taking big risks. The choices at, at that time would be, well, do you plant it all? And, and most, you know, if you don't plant anything, that means no paycheck come harvest time. If the shutdown lasts through late February, early March, that's when farmers need to take action. Call your congressman, you know, talk, talk to your congressman, your United States senator, and let's, let's see if we can get this thing figured out. Now, those FSA employees will not be getting paid now, but President Trump has signed legislation that guarantees them the back pay missed during the shutdown. And coming up tonight at 6, how the shutdown is not only impacting farmers, but all of us when it comes time to filing those tax returns next week. Live in Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.